This is the Trump Breaking News Network. Here's what's happening. Trump has warned that supporters will feel betrayed if he picks Mitt Romney as Secretary of State. By Don Lee. A senior advisor to President-elect Donald Trump stepped up an extraordinary public effort Sunday to discredit Mitt Romney and thwart the chances that he would be picked as Secretary of State. Kellyanne Conway warned on Sunday TV talk shows that Trump's supporters would feel betrayed if he picked the former governor of Massachusetts, a sharp critic of Trump during the campaign, for a senior cabinet position. Conway, who was Trump's campaign manager and now is a top advisor to the incoming president, said she felt compelled to speak out on the matter because of the backlash from the grassroots. People feel betrayed to think that Gov. Romney, who went out of his way to question the character and the intellect and the integrity of Donald Trump, now our president-elect, would be given the most significant cabinet post of all, Conway said on NBC's Meet the Press. They feel a bit betrayed that you can get a Romney back in there after everything he did, she added. We don't even know if he voted for Donald Trump. Conway dodged questions about whether Trump supported the concerns she has been raising publicly about Romney, which began with a tweet she posted on Thanksgiving morning, receiving deluge of social media and private comms re, Romney. Some Trump loyalists warned against Romney as second of state. Conway made clear that she did not approve of Romney, who was the GOP presidential nominee in 2012, and didn't see him as especially qualified to act as America's top diplomat. In the last four years, has he even been around the globe doing something on behalf of the United States of which we are unaware? She asked on CNN's State of the Union. Did he go and intervene in Syria where they are having a massive humanitarian crisis? Meaning when I say intervene, like offered help. Has he been helpful to Mr. Benjamin Netanyahu? She said of the Israeli Prime Minister. I'm all for party unity, but I'm not sure that we have to pay for that with the Secretary of State position, Conway said, although she quickly added that she would respect what Trump decides. During the campaign, Romney called Trump a phony and a fraud and said his policies would lead to economic ruin. In response, Trump mocked Romney as a failed candidate who had choked in the 2012 race. But a little more than a week ago, Trump met with Romney for about 90 minutes at a golf course in New Jersey to discuss the State Department post. Afterward, Trump said the meeting went great and Romney described the discussion as very thorough and in-depth. Trump is also considering Rudolph W. Giuliani, who was a fierce Trump loyalist during the campaign, for the job. The former mayor of New York has touted his experience traveling, consulting and speaking overseas since leaving office in 2001. But his extensive business deals abroad have raised concerns about potential conflicts of interest if he gets the post instead of Romney. In criticizing Romney, Conway exposed what appears to be deep divisions in the Trump camp as it tries to assemble a team. It is highly unusual for a senior representative of an incoming president to be lobbying publicly against a candidate under consideration. Reince Priebus, the Republican National Committee chairman and Trump's choice to be chief of staff, on Sunday sought to downplay reports of internecine struggles in the transition. However, he acknowledged that picking Romney would represent a team of rivals concept. Trump wants to put the best possible people together for all Americans, Priebus told Fox News Sunday. The fact that he's actually even flirting with the idea of choosing a rival should tell the American people where he's at, which is the best place for everyone in this country, he said. Conway also said Trump, who spent the Thanksgiving holiday weekend at his Mar-a-Lago resort in Palm Beach, Florida, talked with President Obama by phone on Saturday for about 40 or 45 minutes. She wouldn't say what they talked about. I can tell you from President-elect Trump's side that he very much enjoys speaking with President Obama, talking about the serious issues that face this country and the world," Conway said on NBC. They get along nicely. They disagree on many things. That's not going to change. This has been the Trump Breaking News Network. Please subscribe and share to stay up to date on the latest news about our president. Be informed.